I'm Hannah. And I'm Michael. And welcome to this Nordic home. for a couple of years now, but when it comes to my studies, I'm a nurse. I've been working with computers since, I don't know, 25 years. I'm currently the CTO of a financial uh, startup. Our home is a, an old home. It's an old Swedish wooden home. And when we moved here, it was tiny. It was half the size from what it is right now. I think it started by Hannah wanted the tower because of a childhood dream or something. And I was like, okay, that's a, that's quite a task. I mean, com building something new onto something old, the old thing, especially in a, in a house like this, nothing is straight. So you have to make adjustments. So I was taking care of kids and you were working like yeah. all day long. I don't get a lot of energy from it. It's more like the opposite. Like it's comfortable. It's, the ceiling is beautiful. So that's a big part of it. But it, it, it brings me, I don't know. I'm happy, I'm content when I'm there. Yeah. But it's also a place where our kids will be now because yeah. their rooms will be next to it. So maybe that will change. <laughs> and I wanted to have the, like these oak floors. They are, more hard, uh, so it doesn't get marked as easily. It's uh, it's more sustainable. You can just like sand it and do it again and do it again and do it again. It will live forever. And uh, also I wanted a certain color and I was able to make my own color there. So it's actually a mix that I did myself. So we're gonna do the whole uh, downstairs as well. So the rest of the house is gonna get the same treatment, the same floors. I love the color that I have painted the cabinets in. <laughs> it's called French grey, farm ball color. Which it's, is actually green. Yeah, it's uh, French grey, but it's green. Uh, I think it's very lovely. Um, also, I like that we don't have any... Um, uh, top cabinets? Top cabinets, yeah. yeah. So it leaves us more open spacey. Yeah. And the uh, we have like a small butler's pantry that I love. I can hide everything in there and you know we we we're a big family so we have a lot of pasta and tomato sauces and you know all that stuff and it's hidden in the pantry so yeah i wanted to build a like shh, but i'm not allowed to uh so it's going to be like more industrial silent door yeah but maybe the other, the maybe other with one is an like a star wars thing and i can't exactly. really, really merge that with the old style yeah so maybe uh optional feature with the sound uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think this home needs a cat. I think it's like it's a part of the house. Um, it does something to to the feeling. It like a homely feeling. Yeah. She's always there, like watching over uh, us. It's it's nice. Yeah. Our cat is called Selma. Yeah. She came to us just a little bit more than a year ago. Yeah. And she is this white, fluffy, holy Burma. And she is more like a dog than a cat because she wants to be next to us all the time. She follows us wherever we go. And she's like, you know, on top of you or very close to you. And, uh, and she's very, very friendly. She loves to be in a, a bowl. It was a bowl for apples. And it's really hard, but it's small and it suits her perfectly. And she's always, always lying there. I love the living room. I think it's, it has been very dark for many, many years, actually. I painted it uh, in a color called Railings from Fair and Ball. It's that was actually dark me painting blue. It. That's what yeah, the that's last... when you got banned. Yeah, painted. that's when I was uh, like a let go of the painting business. It's true. Um, that's why I took over. I had it in so many colors. Right now, I think it's, it's gorgeous. It's schoolhouse white and it's blue gray, both fan ball. This old piece that didn't work when we were, when we bought the house, it's like a hundred years old, like the house. 
so bad and really nice. It's you like didn't it's, like it when we moved. Yeah, you know, it's almost like it's ugly beautiful. But yeah, I've grown to love it a lot. I would never take it down, I would never do it. When it comes to colors in the living room, I like them to be like British, I love British theme of colors. When it comes to interior, I love Danish design. It's just like, it's so beautiful. And I think it's a really exciting combination because normally you see Danish designs in these wide open space areas, which is beautiful, but I love what happens when you mix it with the more British style coloring. The sofa is my favorite. It's, it's called Wilhelm, just like our son. And it's, it's really, really old Danish. Uh, it's called, the, the brand is called Bailassen. It's, it's a timeless piece of furniture and you sit really well in it. Normally, sometimes I can see sofas that are really gorgeous and they look stylish but I can imagine like, okay, you can't sit in that one. You, at least you can't sit comfortable. You have to lie down and, you know, I want our living room to be able, you, you should sit in your sofa. Uh, I can see myself sit there when I'm like 80, I will still be able to get up. <laughs> I like to lie down in the sofa. I know, but it you can do it as well, oh, yeah. yeah. Talking about the dining room, it was actually quite a dark place when we bought it. Um, we extended it and added a glass veranda. I was totally blown away to what it did to the entire downstairs area. Bringing that light in was amazing. That ceiling is like a love story. I absolutely adore it. And the minute we got it up, the minute I, it was just like my vision and then it came up there. And it was love. Because you, you, when you sit, you have a dinner party, something, you just go like that. <laughs> it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like it's a, I don't know, you're out in the countryside and you have this thing and the flowers just goes up to the roof. The glass veranda, the old one, is my space. I always had a dream that we we're gonna have actually two like comfortable chairs turned into one because I found the perfect one. Unfortunately. It, unfortunately, yeah. For me. <laughs> and it's actually called uh, The Tire Man, also by Bailasen, but I changed the name to the menopause chair because whenever I, you know, wake up because I can't sleep at night or something like that, I go down to this chair. There's also a small fireplace. So you can light that, and I sit in that chair, all wrapped up, and I go to sleep again. So it's not uh, the tired man anymore. It's the tired menopause woman chair. <laughs> the wallpaper in the hallway is a William Morris wallpaper. It's called The Book. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it doesn't look typically William Morris, but you can see it's typically British. Uh, and it's, I just fell in love with these animals and the woods and the colors. Um, I think when you, when you look around in our home, you can see a lot of green, blue, brown, the colors that brings nature into your home. So I think... Is everything coming from that wallpaper? It started with that, yeah. It is a bright room, but it's even brighter now. And I combined that with the wallpaper above the bathtub, which is uh, wallpaper with clouds in it. So when you lay there, you feel like, you know, you take a bath in, in heaven. Or in I was very content that the, uh, the width of the wallpaper was exactly the width of the bathroom. Yeah, that was amazing. Because Good choice from me. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like wallpapers. I mean, doing them. No. There it's cause stress. The attic is sort of separate from the rest of the house, both in the way it feels yeah. uh, and the way it's uh, decorated. Uh, it has more of a, to me, city feel to it. It's more of a raw attic. The cocoon chair in the attic, it's from Atbu. 
edible furniture. Uh, it's a Danish brand again. It is a beautiful mix of materials, and like it's it's like cocoon shaped. So when you sit there, it again it sort of hugs you. It's really nice. So you yeah, you can sit there with a book and just rest. It's beautiful. Oh, titta vad som Oj, vet du vad? Vi får klippa dig. There has been a trend, at least in Nordic rooms, uh, to have like almost no colors in kids' room, or it has been gray or beige or uh, and you know wooden toys with no colors on it because it looks really good on you know in pictures, but. Is it fun to be there? Is it? Does it make your fantasy trigger? Or do you know? I don't think so. So, to me, it's been amazingly fun to do kids' room that are beautiful because I love to have like aesthetically uh, beautiful rooms, but they are also joyful and, and make you want to play and triggers your fantasy. So the kids room where we have these little special wallpaper with all the animals. It was sort of a Narnia theme that I wanted to go with. Uh, so it's going to be playful yet colorful. So there is one section where you sit and relax and then there's this outdoor kitchen which I always wanted. So we built that. Yeah. Uh, which was a fun project. And then we built the pergola during the pandemic. It was actually the pandemic project, the entire outdoor stuff. And you were inspired by Jet Vingård. Yeah, when we, you built we tried that. to Google like pergola styles on, you know, different kinds. And you have this like Asian looking with a they have some sort of like where the beams go on top of each other. But we wanted this other type where you have quite thick looking pillars. And also there's a little plastic roof on top as well, so that you can have a dry and nice and cozy place. And also this uh, U kitchen, both of the um, sort of uh, extensions there has like uh, sort of a social areas sort yeah. of. So the, the target audience of the barbecue can be waiting uh, alongside the kitchen. There's bar stools on one side and then there's smaller because of this sections the kids can be lined up on the other side. In our garden we have uh, cherry trees, apple trees. And a pear tree. A pear tree, but it doesn't... It drops all the pears. Yeah. Like prematurely and then it gets pears all over the place. I'm not uh, sure I did a moving house uh, when I did it. Uh, because I had never seen the Moomin house, but lots of people... No, I, I'm, I'm, you know... <laughs> so I'm looking shocked because it's like... I focused on the actual Moomin person. Oh, uh, oh yeah. You know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I built that. I think it was uh, to our daughter's like birthday or something. Uh, yeah. When she was eight or seven or something. I never thought it was going to be my forever home because I, I always thought I was going to be living next to wa the water somehow. Uh, now it has become it's the child's like childhood home. I never had that because I moved a lot when I was a child. So creating that for my family means that now we're going to stick with it. I just need more houses. <laughs> yeah. So another one with the water next to it. But no, I don't think we will ever be able to sell this house because we put so much work and our hearts into it. it we, since we did so much ourselves, I think it's gonna be our forever home. <laughs> <laughs>